Hello everyone. Today, I would like to show you that how to create pipe support using universal column and beam in Revit structure template. I will refer the data in the picture to select the column and beam size, and to create structure connection. In this tutorial, I will use and load in the created base plate and U bolt which parameter controlled by lookup table. You can find and watch how to create base plate and U bolt in the channel. Before go to Revit, I would like to request to subscribe the channel and click the notification bell for the next video. Ok, let go to Revit. This is piping model which is created in mechanical template. I will use this model and links to the structure model template to create the pipe support. Let open a new project. Select the metric structure template and open it. Go to manage and manage links. Add the Revit link model. Select the model. Here I want to keep auto origin to origin for positioning and click OK. We have to set view range setting to see the pipe. Shortcut is VR. Right click on elevation and go to elevation view. Align the level. Back to level 1. Insert a section for first pipe support and go to view. Check the pipe level. I want to change this dimension style. Select the dimension and go to edit type. Duplicate the type and rename it. Select the tick mark which you want to place. Back to level 1. Go to structure and select the beam. There are some of default loaded beam. For more, go to load family. Find for structure framing in system family library. Select the steel and universal beam and open it. There are 127 to 1016 UB sizes. I select and use this one in this tutorial. I set 0 for start extension and 500 for end extension. Select level 1 for reference level. Go to section. Select the beam and set the level to pipe level. And click apply. There are 16 mm gap between bottom of pipe and top of beam for pipe saddle. Let readjust the beam level offset. Back to level 1. Go to structure and select the column. There are some of default loaded column. For more, go to load family. Find for structure column in system family library. Select the steel and universal column and open it. I select and use this one in this tutorial. Select height and end to level 2. Align to center of beam and lock it. Back to section. Insert dimension to check the bottom level of beam and level 2 slab thickness. Select the column and set the value of base offset and top offset.
Insert dimension and adjust the column offset from center of pipe. Align the edge of beam to column and lock it. OK, let add beam and column connection details. We can find the connection detail in both structure and steel. Click the arrow at corner below for detail. I will select and use this moment end plate. Add to loaded connection and click OK. Select the column and beam and add structure connection. You can click on the small dot spot to select the plate connection direction. Go to properties and select the connection detail. To customize this connection, select the connection. Go to customize and name it. You can do modification here and also can do in properties. Go to customize. Set the setting for plate layout. Set the setting for bolts and holes. Set the setting for horizontal bolts. Set the setting for vertical bolts. Set the setting for top stiffener. Check in 3D view. Back to section. Selection the connection. Customize the connection and name it. Select the column and beam and add connection. Select the connection detail. Check in 3D view. This is base plate with anchor bolt family. You can find and watch how to create this family in the channel. Insert and load this family into project. Go to 3D view. Select the links model and temporary hide it. Reload the base plate family and place to the column. Back to section. Select the column and adjust down for the base plate's thickness. Base plate's thickness is 16 millimeters. Go to 3D view. Select base plate and pick a new work plane. Back to section. Align base plate to column. Check in 3D view. This is U-Bolt with pipe saddle family. You can find and watch how to create U-Bolt and nut in the channel. Insert and load the this family into project. Place the family on top of beam. Back to section. Align the U-bolt to the pipe and lock it. 
select U bolt and set 620 mm for diameter. Select the U bolt and copy to right side. Check in 3D view. Back to level 1. Select the whole support and copy or array to along the pipe. Rotate the support to 90 degrees. Move to center of pipe. Insert a section. Right click on section and go to view. Select the support and adjust to right side. Select the whole support and copy to along the pipe. Insert another section and go to view. Insert a dimension and check level of top pipe. Back to level 1. Select the existing beam and create similar. Align to the existing. Back to section. Select beam and set the value of start and end level offset. Check in 3D view. Select the U bolt and pick and place on top of new beam. Back to section. Align the U bolt to center of pipe. Select the right side column and adjust it. Select column and beam. Add the structure connection. Do the same in left side. Back to level 1. Select the whole pipe support and copy or array to along the pipes. Check in 3D view. OK, pipe support creation is completed. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. Thank you for watching.